Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nasreen and today I'm gonna to be tiling this bathroom floor. I'm using this beautiful white porcelain tile with a little bit of gray in it. I already laid the hardy backer on the floor and taped the joints. And if you wanna see a video on that, I'll link it in the description. Let's get to it. It's always good to lay down some of your tiles before you thin set them in so you can get an idea of how you want the layout to look. Once you have an idea of how you want the layout to look, you can pre-cut some of the side pieces like I did. It makes it a little easier when you're trying to lay the tiles down so your thin set's not drying out while you're trying to measure and cut. You also have to keep in mind that some of the tiles look exactly the same. So you wanna space them out so they're not laying side by side. So I did a good job spacing them out. And try avoiding really thin cuts around the edges because it just doesn't look good. You may have to cut a few inches off this side so you don't end up with a really small cut on that side. The box recommends that these tiles be offset 15 to 30% with a minimum 1 8 inch grout line. So I offset mine 5 inches. To cut the hole for the toilet, I'm going to be using this piece of cardboard. I cut it to the exact same size as a tile. You lay it down. Put your spacers around it, there, and then use a razor blade to cut the hole. Kind of fill for where it's at, and then start in the center. Once you get to the outside edge, just cut all the way around it. Got it. All right, now that I have it cut out, I'm gonna trace the circle on a piece of tile and cut it with the angle grinder. Let's go outside. Now let's see how it fits. Aw oh man, it doesn't even fit right. Just kidding. I love that angle grinder. It's about a hundred bucks. And it's so good for cutting the hole. Perfect. I'm gonna be using a piece of cardboard as a guide to cut the hole for the pipe. The same way I did for the toilet flange. I'm gonna cut the hole for the pipe with my diamond hole saw. Attach one sticky side to the drill guide. It just peels off. And then you take off the other side and attach it to the tile where you're gonna cut the hole. Right over the hole. Then you put your bit on your drill. This comes as a little kit. It's about 15 bucks or so. Fill your drill guide halfway with water. Turn it on and start slow. There's our circle. Let's see if it fits. Looks pretty good, don't you think? Take into consideration your spacers. And bam! Now it's time to mix the thin set. I'm using this porcelain thin set because my tiles are porcelain. You always want to put a little water first so it doesn't clump up at the bottom of the bucket. Now I gotta lift this heavy bag. All right, good for now. Now I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, you wanna hold your bucket and start slow.
Need to put a little more water in there. There. We want it to a peanut butter consistency. So it needs to be pretty thick. The bag says to mix it for three minutes, wait five, and then mix it for one more. So that's what I'm gonna do. You want it to be a peanut butter consistency. Kinda thick. I'm just gonna lay down my first few tiles following my guideline. Here we go, guys. Tiling my own floor. Don't have to hire nobody to do it for me. It's the perfect peanut butter consistency. This stuff washes off pretty good if you get it right away and don't let it dry. So I'll wipe it off the shower in a little bit. It's such a hot day today. Just lay a bunch down, spread it out. Lay down our mud. Do you guys have any summer projects? I have a lot. I have this whole house. I wanna get it done in two months so I can sell it. I have to go in for a randomly selected COVID test at work. So I'm not looking forward to that. That applicator goes way up your nose. It feels like it's going to your brain. Okay. We're gonna back butter. We're just making a very thin layer to help it stick. All right. Looks good. Very first piece. Next. Move it back and forth to collapse the grooves. And lay down. Put my spacers about an inch off the corners. And we're gonna put some spacers on the inside. I'm using a 1 4th by 1 4th square notch trowel. And what you wanna do is get your mud with the flat side and lay it down and get enough on there. Spread it out. Then you use the notch side to make the grooves that create the suction. And you want to do it at a 45 degree angle. And put the extra mud back in the bucket and we can reuse it. Now I'm going to back butter the tile. I'm going to put a thin layer of thin set on each one. This helps it stick even better. 
make sure it doesn't come out. You have to be careful when you spread it that you don't chip the tile. All right. Now you figure out which side's the top and lay it down and move it back and forth to collapse the grooves. Then you can hear the little air pockets coming out. And it's a good idea to take your level and make sure they are level. And that needs to go down a little bit. So I'm gonna push and adjust it. Looks good a little more. Okay, now I'm gonna take my spacers and put them about an inch off each corner. And on to the next one. This is a messy job. All right, looks like this one's ready to lay down. Okay, this is the top. So we're gonna set it down gently and move it back and forth and push it down. Okay, then we're gonna put our spacers about an inch off each corner. There. We'll put one in the middle and then we're gonna check our level. It looks pretty good. Could go down a little bit. Right. And it's a really good idea to wipe your towels as you go so the thin set doesn't get too dry and too hard. So I always have a bucket of water laying around and a washcloth. And you can clean the walls where you make a mess. After this tile, I'm gonna have to mix another batch of mud up. I try not to make too big of a batch because then it dries out and I just want to have enough that I can work with and not have to worry about it drying out on me. Make our lines at a 45 degree angle. Put the extra mud back in the bucket. Back butter our tile. Where is the tile? I need to get the tile. I don't like to wear my hair up because it gives me headaches. It takes just an extra minute to back butter. Okay, I missed a little spot right there. There we go. Move it back and forth, push it down a little bit. Get your mud out of there. Mud out of there. Looks really good. And I wear the tool belt for the spacers. It keeps them right by my side. You know, people make fun of me, but I like it. Make my grooves. You want them to go in the same direction, don't forget. Move it back and forth to collapse the grooves. Push it down a little bit and put it into place right there. A little bit too high, so just push it down and get some of that mud out of there. That looks pretty good. Make sure your tiles are as even as you can get them. A little more mud. Okay. Here's a quick tip. Sometimes when you're tiling and you're at the end of the row, the tile over here slides away from the other one and it creates a bigger grout line right here. So you can just get a piece of tape, 
push it together and it'll hold it together until you get back to it and it'll be all bueno. Can any of you guys recommend me some good knee pads that fit a girl? Because all the ones out there are so bulky. They're made for men. I need something that fits me good. And that's why I use my little pad here because I haven't found any knee pads that I like. I actually really don't mind this little pad. It works good. All right, let's lay another one down. Put our grooves in there. Next one going down. If you have too much mud in there, you can just take it out and put it back in the bucket. All right, we're gonna push it side to side. All right, let's put our spacers in there. Well, let's wipe it off first. Yeah, if this stuff gets too dry, it's really hard to get off. So you better wipe it as you go. You'll be thankful you did. These little tabby spacers are one of my favorite spacers. Good old Mr. Tabby was commenting on my Facebook page a while back. Make sure to follow me on my social media pages. Oops. I used to think making the toilet hole cut was so hard, but with the angle grinder, it's a piece of cake. All right, I gotta be careful around the rim. Give me those spacers. I'm about halfway done. It's a reach for sure. I'm running out of mud. And I'm hungry. And I'm sweating and I'm enjoying it because I'm getting the tile. Okay, guys. You could hear the little air pockets coming out. I really like this tile. About halfway done. Bam! I think it's going to take one more bucket of mud and we'll be done. Remember, a 
about an inch off each corner. Time for a snack. I'm getting hungry. Mmm. Almost done. I think I just need to mix one more batch of mud just to lay these last few tiles down. And that's it. Here's another quick tip for you guys. If you have a tile with a chip on it like this one, you can mark it with a piece of tape. That way you don't end up accidentally using it later. And you can always use this end for corner cuts. Let's go lay it down. I'm almost done. I had to stop my tiling and go get a COVID test right now at work. They do randoms on us. It's my second one so far. It wasn't fun. I don't like them. Five degree angle. Did I tell you guys that I am clumsy? But somehow I still get things done. So if you're clumsy, you can still tile. Those lines came out pretty nice. Careful not to chip the nearby tiles. Push it down. There we go. And the spacers. Almost done. Can anyone guess what time it is? It's nine o'clock at night. And I have to work tomorrow. Get up at five in the morning. But it'll all be worth it. Remember, if it's too high, just move it back and forth and push it down and get some of that mud out of there. And that'll even it out. Looks pretty good right there. Wipe all my little fingerprints off. And put my spacers. And push it up and back. These combination squares are super handy for getting your measurements. You just lay it up against the wall Mark where your tile's at. Then we're gonna take a quarter inch because we want an eighth and an eighth off each side. So we're gonna take eighth and an eighth, so it would be right here. This is where we're gonna cut it on the tile. I'm gonna move it to my line and it'll hold it in place right there and tighten it down. Lay it on the tile and then mark it. And I'm just using this extra end piece so it's almost the exact size I need, but I need to cut a little bit off at the end. Right there. Now I'm gonna measure the other side. All right, and then take a quarter inch off, which would be right there. And then we're gonna move this to that line and go set it on our tile. All right, we're gonna put it on the other side of the tile. Right there and mark it. 
Then we're going to make our line across there and cut it. And that's what I'm going to cut off, that little sliver right there. Perfect. And just put your spacers in there. And it fits good. Generally speaking, it's a good idea to make your grooves the opposite way of the tile length. So if your tile is two feet like this one, you want your grooves to go this way because it's a lot easier for the air to come out this short distance than all the way across here. Does that make sense? You gotta be really careful getting by those tiles with the trowel because you don't want to scrape them up and they're already set in. You would just have to deal with the scratch on your floor. Just two more guys. And then I can go home and cook some dinner. I'm starving and I don't even know what I'm gonna eat tonight because it's so late and I'm tired. This is the last piece. Last piece, guys. And then I will come back on my days off and grout the whole thing. Wow, that fit like a glove. Perfect. One more, one more. Yay, it looks beautiful. So I let the tiles dry for a few days while I was at work and they look beautiful. And now I'm gonna be using my grout removal tool to take out any thin set that's sticking up between the tiles because it could show through when you grout. Just be very careful not to chip the tile because you could. And I clean these off pretty good. There's just a few spots I need to get with this grout removal tool. And it cleans it right out. And then we're gonna vacuum and then grout. Here's a good example. There's a little piece sticking up right there. We're just gonna clean it out. Bam. Now I'm gonna vacuum all the grout lines to make sure there's no dust in between. Now let's go mix the grout. I'm mixing my grout to the same consistency as a thin set like peanut butter. And I'm using unsanded grout because my grout lines are an eighth of an inch. Anything over an eighth of an inch needs to have sanded grout because it keeps it from shrinking and cracking. And I'm using the Mape unsanded grout with polymer. I've been trying to remember to wear a mask because the powder goes everywhere. I already have the water in the bucket. I'm gonna mix the whole bag and I picked a silver color. I don't know if you could see it right there. Remember to start slow, hold your bucket. And always follow the instructions on the bag. This one says to mix it for three to five minutes, let it sit for five and then mix it for one to two more. So I'm gonna set my alarm for four minutes. You get the grout with your rubber trowel and work at each line at an angle. Make sure to press it in really good so you don't just have a top layer because if it's just brushed over it could end up cracking later.
Remember to go at it at an angle. This is actually one of the easy parts. Just press it in really good. You don't need to worry about doing this part up against the wall because we're going to have trim over it. So just do the lines up against it. After about 15 minutes, you get your grouting sponge and you clean off the extra grout. You want to squeeze it out really, really good. You don't want too much water on it. There. Make sure to go diagonal over the grout lines because if you go up and down, you could take the grout right back out of there. Clean off our tiles while we're at it too. These clean off pretty easy. Rinse out your sponge. And don't worry about the film it leaves. When it's all done, we're gonna wipe it off again. A few times. And make sure to change out your water often as you go because it gets pretty muddy. So I just finished. The grout needs to be dry for at least 48 hours before I seal it. So I'll be back. Yesterday I cleaned the haze off the tile and today I'm sealing the grout. I'm using Aquamix grout sealer which is for sanded and unsanded grout. And I have this applicator bottle with these small bristle brushes at the end. And it works really good for applying the grout sealer. Shake, 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 shake it, shake it really good. It says to shake it really good. That should be good enough. All right. New bottle. I'm gonna open it up. Pour it in the applicator bottle. It's white, but it dries clear. And it doesn't change the color of the grout. All right, let's get started. Just apply it to the grout lines. See how easy this applicator works? It fits right in the grout lines. It goes pretty fast. Make sure to clean any grout sealer off the tile within five minutes because it will leave a residue on the tile. And that residue is hard to get off. So you want to clean it while it's fresh. I just get a damp washcloth and clean right by the grout lines. And that'll get it right off. Just use different sections of your towel. Open it up, use the other side. And then rinse it off. Pretty good.
This is the final step and this is gonna be done. It's good to seal your grout. Makes it waterproof. Get that extra grout sealer off. And make sure to change out your water every once in a while. It starts turning white and that's not good. Goes pretty quick. Have you guys taken any vacations this year? I just went fishing and it was so relaxing and they have like a beach section at this lake, which was awesome because you can also swim and not worry about getting hooks in your feet. It was so much fun. I love to do anything outdoors, fishing, hiking, swimming, anything out there. I love it. We have a lot of fires going on around here. There's a big one where I live and then another big one in Arizona where I went to visit. It's pretty scary. They look really close. One of them's coming right by my mom's house. So hopefully she won't have to evacuate. I'm just gonna finish this last little bit, wait 30 minutes and apply another coat. Round two. I love how this floor came out, it looks beautiful. And sometimes I find it hard to believe that I did it all by myself. In the 30 minutes that I was waiting for the sealer to dry, I was actually trying to clean some of the sealer off the tiles because even though you clean it off, it still leaves a residue on there. Not that much, but it's best to get it when it's fresh. I am sweating bullets in here. It's hot. I usually can't run a fan because I have the mic on and it interferes. It makes a lot of noise, so I have to just sweat it out all the time. adjust this applicator to where a lot comes out or just a little bit and you don't want a lot to come out because then you're cleaning up a lot more I try to spread it out when I get a big glob that comes out and not waste it I tried on some knee pads at Lowe's and they are so big on my legs. I have skinny little legs and they definitely don't fit. So I'm trying to find some. If you guys know of any that fit little women, please leave it in the comments. If not, I'll keep using my little knee pad here. But I have been trying to find some knee pads. Whew. Try not to stand on your grout lines. Okay, and then get your towel and clean it off. Just keep using different sections. I love how the floor came out, it's so pretty. And it feels so good to know that I did it myself. I hope this video helps you with your tiling projects and you realize you can do it too. Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. Bye. Oh, I didn't put the water in first.
Woo. Oh, I didn't back butter. Made a mess. I am the boss. The tile over here is sliding apart. Okie dokie, Smokey. I need another tile. Can I please get another tile? <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. Why do I get a frog in my throat? Yesterday I have, does it still sound like I have one? <gasps> yesterday I, yesterday I, wait. Take out any thin set that's sticking up between the tiles. It's white, but it dries. Love you guys, stay safe.